tender You with flowers in your hand You were dancing with your headphones on together Everyone was watching you were moving in the beat Cause it's swerving in the street Just to get a glimpse of how much of a dream this was for me I wanted to come to New York City for I don't know like I can think of it's like my dream city I always I just I don't know I wanted to come to New York City for like years now but I could never make it there was always 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 an obstacle but this year it magically worked out and I don't know I never ever in my life I thought I'll make it to New York City. I'm in New York City! <laughs> I mean, I'm overwhelmed. Like, I, we, we didn't do anything because it was so hot and was wearing a sweater. So we just came here, showered and changed. And now we're gonna make the best of the rest of the day. And get something to drink and to eat. And gonna start slow, gonna start easy. We're here for 11 days and 12 nights. And we're just in New York City because there's literally nothing else I would rather do this day 12 days straight in New York City because I think I have a lot to see. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that happened before we got to this point here because maybe like not a lot of stuff, but I'm not gonna tell it right now. Maybe when I'm back home, I don't know yet because I don't want to waste my time here. <laughs> it's like precious to me. It's like so precious. Uh, I took a shower. I just got a little ready, tried to like make something out of my bangs. I mean, while well, I got straight bangs, why not wear them like this? I hope I don't regret it. Yeah, I think it's fine. And I'm wearing a bow. So my outfit is like a band shirt and a skirt. Skirt. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am kind of scared that I'm gonna forget like everything that happened, but I will try to make the time to tell you guys. So maybe later, maybe tomorrow, I don't know yet. For tonight, we're gonna take it slow or today and get going to get something to eat. Let's go. He's my best friend now. <laughs> I have the feeling that Dunkin' Donuts is very popular here. I don't know. We decided that we're gonna go eat some pizza. And we find one with some pretty good reviews and everyone is walking over red. So that's, I think, what we're gonna do too. Let's be really New York. I hope we don't die. We didn't. We made it. <laughs> There is the aftermath. That is my favorite, number one. Then this one and that one. Actually, that was my first pick and <laughs> that was my least favorite one in the end. But we were like eating pizza family style, so everyone got a piece and more bites of everything. So family style is good. 
Did I ever look happier than in the streets of New York City? I doubt it. <laughs> so happy we just finished the pizza. It was super good. It was a little bit too much. I ordered like three slices for two people. But I just wanted to try one more. I mean, we could go there again, but I always want to try something new. We're gonna walk to the Empire State Building right now. We're kind of lost <laughs> at our first day. We're just gonna look for, I don't know, random places. We're gonna wanna go like random, I mean Empire State Building and probably Central Park because it's just six o'clock and we have like the whole evening left. Yeah, we just wanna make the best out of it. That's what we're doing now. So we went to 7-Eleven and I always wanted to try this unhealthy thing called a Slurpee. So I got one. I chose like three colors. I think after those two weeks I'm gonna be so fat and broke. So I'm gonna try my first Slurpee. Yay! <laughs> life again yesterday we just went to eat some dinner and then we walked to the Empire State Building like walked around a little bit what's in our hood and we got some I got some chai latte from Dunkin Donuts I feel like Dunkin Donuts is very popular here and I'm already like surprised what is a medium size here because in Germany that would be a large I'm just going to be so much better after those two weeks if I didn't tell you guys yet I am here for two weeks I know a lot of people say like why are you here for two weeks is so long and I'm like dude you don't get how much of a dream for me it was to come here I'm gonna stay here for fucking two weeks and like try to live my best New York City life here <laughs> so and the best part about this planning is no one can stop me so yeah actually we also wanted to go to Central Park yesterday but we realized we we're just so over we we're so done the night night before we flew we slept so bad and then the night before we only had like sleep for three hours and we were on the road for 17 hours I think like the flight itself was nine hours and where we had a transit where we flew from Germany to Brussels and then from there to New York City and our flight from Germany to Brussels but from Munich already had a delay of half an hour so we really really were in a hurry we had to rush to the passport control where I went in easily but my friend didn't so it was really really short in time like the boarding had already begun and it was like so oh my god please 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 make it the thing was I was faster because I went through the um, digital passport control my friend had to take like the normal passport passport control because it didn't work with his passport so yeah that was a little bit unfortunate but we made it I was so happy the flight was pretty fine it was it was good I mean there are such longer travel hours even like if you want to go from the one end of Germany to the other one is so much longer with the train and much more uncomfortable yeah we went to bed early I think at like eight nine ish I was like gone like this I was, I was gone. <laughs> I was so tired. I was done with this world. And we were like, you know what? It doesn't make any sense to like force it to stay up longer because we're just gonna be tired as fuck on the next day, which is so much more precious, I'd say, because you have like, you wake up here and you have like the whole freaking day to do something. So we're like, you know what, fuck it. Walked around the city a little bit, but we're so tired. Go back to the hotel and be super refreshed for next day, which is true. I'm super awake, I am super happy, and now I'm gonna get ready. We have a little plan. We're gonna go eat at a diner. I hope I get some pancakes, maybe get some coffee on the run again. I have to say the sizes of the US fit me very well. <laughs> so let's get ready. First I think diner and I think then we're gonna go biking at the Central Park. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. First I have to put on moisturizer and then we'll see what the look brings. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my eyes and lips. So let's see how it's gonna end up, you know. By the way, if anyone says anything different, he's a liar and a fucking snake. <laughs> because for a few weeks, I skipped on skincare and my skin really got 
worse like not super bad but it wasn't as good as it was before and if you know me i have like very very bad skin and huge pores especially on this area like not here but maybe here like that and i need skincare like i really do i mean i know you shouldn't over care but you should do a little bit my pores shrink to the minimum again after like one week of doing a lot of skincare which is just so necessary, I'm telling you guys. I'm gonna put on sunscreen a little bit because y'all, I'm telling you, in New York City is hot. I don't know if it's super sunny, but it's so hot. I can just recommend you put on sunscreen everywhere you are, but yeah, just so you know, New York City is so hot right now, which is also a little bit of a pain, but you know, like I said, I know overdoing skincare is also not good, but cleansing is very important. And that BHA thing from Paula Choice is a lifesaver. And it is like a must in my skincare routine. I need to concentrate on this or I'm gonna look like shit. So I went for an orange eye look, like a little glitter moment in front and then a little matter on the back. I don't even know what I'm gonna wear right now, but I just knew that I wanted to do an orange eye look. So I wish I brought falsies. I forgot that. I don't know if you can see it, but I still got a little bit of my eyelash left and I'm super glad that it is it just makes such a freaking difference i think i'm gonna put on a little orange lip look going on so yeah that is basically the look i'm gonna put some fixing spray now oh it's just working for six months after you open it good to know it's super old and i'm still gonna put it on it's let's hope it works By the way, I know I still owe you an hotel tour, a uh, hotel room tour, but we were so done with the world, I couldn't. But just so you know, uh, we're staying at the Courtyard Marriott near Hell's Kitchen. They have a lot of, they have more than one hotel. And I'm pretty happy. The bathroom is really big and so much space. We're on the 25th floor, which is very high, which I think is very cool. But until you have to take the escalator, because if you take that, like you wait for five minutes because so many people are in here and it stops like on every floor yeah i'm gonna make a room tour maybe before we leave and everything looks a little more clean again <laughs> okay guys so this is the outfit i'm wearing like a beige t-shirt and denim shorts yeah and i'm wearing my new balance the outfit Woo. The whole outfit and it's so funny because there's the toilet so you can literally watch yourself doing your business the outfit set let's go and eat breakfast yay let's go matcha latte for breakfast
guys, we found school buses. I was like asking if I look touristy and yeah I do because I made pictures in front of a school bus. Am I ashamed of it? Hell no. <laughs> Guys, time for the Empire State Building. We just ran our butts off. It was close. 